Hey, what's going on everyone? As promised, I'll be showing you how to update a rooted Fire TV 2. The first thing you will need to do is download the update file by going to the link in the description. Scroll down to change log and downloads and select the newest file by looking at the date. Once you have this file, you can choose to do one of the following options. 1. Copy the file to a USB drive, then copy it to the internal memory of the Fire TV using ES File Explorer or any other file manager app that you choose. I always place my files in the download folder for easy finding. Option 2. Copy the file to a micro SD card and then attach it to the Fire TV. Option 3. Attach a USB hub to the Fire TV which will allow you to have the USB drive and a keyboard connected at the same time. While unplugged, make sure a keyboard is connected to the Fire TV. As soon as you see this screen, press the right arrow on the keyboard and select Enter to launch recovery. We are now in the recovery menu. From here, you can choose to install. You have to use the arrow keys to move the cursor and then Enter to select that option. All right, so from here, what you want to do is go to select storage. So it'll take you to the main screen like this one. If the file is on your internal storage, just select internal storage, then OK. If the file is in a micro SD card, select the micro SD card and then select OK. If you have a USB hub with a USB drive attached to it, aside from the keyboard, you can select USB and then OK. All right, so from here, if you don't see your files, you can select up a level, which should take you back like this. As I mentioned, I like to place my files in the download folder, so I'm going to select download, but you select where you have the file downloaded to. Here you can see the update file in the form of a zip file. If it's something other than a zip file, then you did something wrong. You're going to select it by pressing enter. And then here, just navigate to this three arrows and select enter. As you can see, we are now installing the update. Now, for your information, each update file will contain the latest version of the recovery menu. So you don't need to update that separately. We're going to go ahead and wait for that to finish. And we will continue. Once everything has finished, you have the option to reboot system. So go ahead and select it. Once the Fire TV is done booting up, you now have the update selected in the beginning of this video. You can confirm this by going to Settings, then System, and selecting About. You should see that the software version is whatever you chose. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and as always, stay tuned for more videos like this one.